Hey, hey, hey. Good morning to you. Happy, happy Monday. I pray that you are having an amazing start to your work week. If Monday is the start to your work week, I pray that you had an amazing weekend. I am going to turn down the music in my background. I am just super excited, super excited. I'm going to go ahead and invite a few people. And if you could do the same thing, that would be great. Good morning, Terrell. Thank you so much for joining. Um, and we will get started. Um, I am just truly grateful for who God is, what he is doing, what he has done. And I just thank him because he is so, so good to me. He is so, so good to me. And I know that if you are on this side of the land, that he is he is also good to you. And so, um, super excited about who he is, super excited about what he has done. Yes, good morning, Cynthia. Thank you so much for joining. Um, had a super long weekend, but it was super amazing. Um, I went to Kansas City, received the um, I Changed Nations Award, Global Leadership Award. What an honor! What an honor! So grateful, so grateful. Um, and even receiving that award, it is a honor. Such grateful. -ness. But with that, you know, we know we got work to do to just continue to serve globally around the world as I have already been doing, but just need to just continue to do what I do. Gonna give a few minutes to join. Gonna give you all a few minutes to join. Not gonna be on here long. Good morning, Miss Rose. Thank you so much for joining. But I was just, um, I mean, I was just overwhelmed with joy on yesterday to receive that um, global, global leadership award. That was such an honor and a blessing. At the same time, um, our work is not in vain, and to know that greater works. Hallelujah. Good morning, Nikita. Thank you so much for joining. Knowing that greater works will we do. I thank you all for all your support. Thank you so much, Cynthia. Thank you so much. I thank you all so much for your support near and far. Prayers and everything that you do for me. I just thank you, thank you, thank you. Because um, it's God. It's God. It, all this is, it's, all of this is truly, it is a kingdom work. It's really not about me, but God will use those that are willing. God will use those that are willing. It's not about knowing everything, knowing how to do everything, knowing how to go about everything. But if you are a willing vessel, he will, he will make ready the willing. He will make ready the willing. So you see what the title of this live feed is. And this is so crazy because I, I mean, when I say, let me, I'm going to give you just a rundown and I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to give you a rundown really quick give you a run rundown really quick because it's hindsight now but just imagine getting up i got up at on four at 4 30 on saturday 4 30 on saturday got on the road six o'clock eight hour drive went to the event that was several hours didn't get in the bed close to one o'clock it was well after 12 and back up at four um out at six downstairs at the event at eight at the event a couple of hours got packed was at the event again from 12 to 3 and got on the road and made it home close to midnight and i am on my way to my job this morning i said all that to say this a lot of people would not even have taken advantage of the opportunity because they would have said they didn't have enough recovery time they would have said they didn't have enough travel time they would have said they didn't have enough you know they didn't have enough uh rest time they would have made all type of excuses but what i'm trying to tell you good morning shanti you gotta realize that when you have a work to do the excuses are really not 
not acceptable because we were missing. I know that's not my topic. Good morning, Shanta, but I, I'm trying to help somebody because I have seen people m miss opportunities because they said that they don't have time. We have the same 1,440 minutes. We have the same 86,400 seconds. We have the same time, but it is what you choose to do with it. You could make an excuse and miss an opportunity because you say you don't have time to do what? Oh, I'm just trying to help somebody this morning because see, a lot of times everything is not a week long. It's not a month long. Some things, some opportunities, it may be a day long. You may have to make some sacrifices. You may have to make some arrangements and some people make the excuse because they have children. I can't travel because I have kids. I travel with five kids and my mom. Come on now, somebody. You got to stop making excuses and start making sacrifices if you want your life to change. Y'all not going to talk to me today. You have to stop making excuses and start making sacrifices if you want your life to change. Good morning, Lisa. Thank you so much for joining. So you can make the excuse that you don't have time. You can make the excuse that you don't have the money. You can make the excuse that you don't have the education. You can make the excuse. And it gets me right into my topic. The topic that the Lord woke me me up out of my sleep. Come on now, somebody. The topic that he gave, he said, you would only live what's in you. I'm going to say that again for the person that didn't hear me on the back row. You will only live what's in you. I'm going to say it one more time for the person that did not hear me on the back left, on the back right. The person that's sitting in the balcony making excuses as to why they can't do what they need to do to get to the next level. You will only live... Oh, y'all not going to talk to me today. You would only live what's in you. If you got a lot of excuses, if you have fear, if you have doubt, if you have all those sorts of type of things that's in you, that's what you're going to live out. You will live in fear. But I know that in the book that I love, he said that I didn't give you fear, daughter. He said, I didn't, I'm going to make it personal because I know daughter ain't in there, but I put my name in it. He said, I didn't give you fear, daughter, but I gave you power. Oh, y'all not going to talk to me this morning. Good morning, Erica. Thank you so much for joining. I gave you power. I gave you love. And I gave you a sound mind. I didn't give you fear. So if God didn't give you fear, who gave it to you? I'm going to say it again. If God did not give you fear, who gave it to you? Oh, y'all not going to talk to me today. If God didn't give you fear, who gave it to you? He said, I didn't give you fear, but I gave you power. I gave you love and I gave you a sound mind. See, a lot of us are not moving because we said we are afraid. But who gave you afraid? A lot of us are not moving because we, we, we're living in doubt. But who gave you doubt? A lot of you are living in fear. But who gave you fear? And so in the middle of the night last night, I had to get up and put the topic in my notes because he woke me up out of my sleep after me driving over nine hours. And then check this out. I left at six o'clock in the morning on Saturday and returned at midnight. So you looking at 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 um you looking at less than 48 hours and almost 18 hours of driving. Now it was less than 48 hours because when you really think about it, in about 42 hours, I drove about 18 hours and I attended a couple of days of the events and I did what I needed to do. I rested, I packed, I unpacked, I repacked. Come on now, y'all not hearing what I'm saying. God did not give us fear. You're not hearing what I'm saying. You will only live out what is in you. If you don't have no drive, you're not going to live out a driven life. If you have no perseverance, you are not going to live a, a life that perseveres. If you have no determination, you're not going to live out that determined life. Come on now, somebody. You're not going to talk to me this morning. I know you said you had a long weekend, but I bet you it wasn't longer than mine. But my weekend was blessed. Good morning, Miss Sherry. Thank you so much for joining. My weekend was blessed. It was an honor. It was a honor and a privilege to receive a global, not, not local, not state, not global, not United States, a global leadership award. It may not mean nothing to you, but it means the world 
to me. Come on now, somebody. Y'all not going to talk to me. But he woke me up out of my sleep. I could have woke up this morning and said, you know what? I got up yesterday at six o'clock and I drove for nine hours and I went to an event and I talked to friends and I met new people and I went to bed late and I got up early and then I went to the event and I drove another nine hours and I didn't get in to midnight. I could have got up with the excuse this morning that I'm too tired to get the kids ready. They could have stayed out of school. I could have got up this morning and said, I'm too tired to go to work. But how many know when you got something in you? Come on now, somebody. Y'all not going to talk to me. It got to come out. You're going to only live what's in you. You can drag and act like you're sleeping. You can drag and act like you're fearful. You can drag and act like you're doubtful. Thank you so much, Erica. I appreciate it. You know, but you know what I think about the most. If you don't have action in you, it doesn't matter how many times people try to push you. If you lazy, you just lazy. It doesn't matter how many times people try to tell you. If you ain't going to do it, you just ain't going to do it. Because see, what's in you is going to come out of you. You would only live what's in you. If you have no drive, I'm going to say it again, you won't live a driven life. If you don't have no drive, you got, I told you on the other day, that 99 people can encourage you. 99 people can tell you you can. 99 people can support you. 99 people can tell you, go ahead, girl. Go ahead, man. 99 people can be on the sideline rooting you on. But you got one person that's talking in your head. One person that's telling you you can one person that's telling you that you won't one person that's telling you that it's not possible and guess what you ain't gonna do nothing you're not going to do nothing, but you can have 99 people coming against you. You can have 99 people pushing you down. You can have 99 people talking about you. You can have 99 people laughing at you. You can have 99 people saying that you crazy. You can have 99 people saying that it's not work, but baby, let me tell you what I know to be 100% true. Oh, y'all not going to talk to me. I can tell you what I know to be 100% true. You can have one person saying, yes, I can. Oh, yes, I can. You can have one person say, if I have to go, and if I have to go by myself, I'm going. You can have one person saying, even if they don't support me, I'm still going to do. You can have one person saying, I can do it. You can have one person saying, I will do it. You can have one person saying, I got what it takes. Come on now, somebody. Y'all not going to talk to me and guess what you will you will only live the life that you have that's in you if you have allowed the enemy and his imps and his pimps you have let them discourage you from living the life of your dream i come to encourage you to get your fight back today Oh, I come to encourage you to get your fight back. Get your childlike wonders back. Get your childlike curiosity. You remember, you know Curious George. I know y'all remember Curious George. See, some of y'all not curious about nothing. You're not curious on if you try it, it might work. You're not curious on, you know, you're not worried about what people say. See, some of us, we spend too much time worried about what other people are thinking. Some of us spend too much time worrying about what other people are thinking. See, you worried about what they thinking, but you ain't worried about what he's thinking. He has given you the instructions. He has told you what to do. He said he put something in you. He knew you before you was in your mother's womb. He knew the plans that he had for you. But see, some of us, we're sitting in pity in our pain talking about what's hurting on us. Oh, y'all not going to talk to me today. You're talking about what's hurting on you. You're talking about who hurt you. You talking about what they said. You worried about what they did instead of what you want. Oh, y'all not going to talk to me. See, you can have what you want if you go after it. You can have what you want if you stop making excuses. You let your excuse for what everybody else is doing and saying stop you from moving in the direction that you're supposed to move in. You will only have what you go after. Ain't nobody giving out nothing these days. Ain't nobody passing out nothing for free. And see, if you don't have nothing in you, nothing is going to come out of you. But baby, what's down on the inside? What do you have down on the inside? Oh, y'all not going to talk to me. Oh, y'all not going to talk to me. What do you have on the inside? What you got on the inside, they can't stop you. They cannot stop you. See, I could have woke up dragging this morning. I'm tired. I'm tired. But see, it said, as a man thinking. See, I woke up thinking that I got action to take this morning. I 
God, I woke up thinking that I have lives to change this morning. I woke up thinking that I had something to offer the world this morning. I woke up thinking that I'm going to make some stuff change this morning. I woke up thinking that some stuff going to happen this morning. I woke up thinking that my mind was made up that I would have the things that I want. I didn't wake up and figure out, I, I didn't get in the bed to, I, I didn't get home to almost 12 and I didn't get in the bed to almost 1 and, and then he waking me up with a topic for this morning. I didn't wake up thinking that I had a long weekend and, and I don't feel like it and oh I gotta go to work and this gonna happen and that's gonna happen. I didn't wake up thinking like that. See you can, you can craft your day. Oh, if you wake up thinking you're going to have a bad day, guess what? You're going to have a bad day. But see, you got to claim your day. You can craft your day. Speak those things that are not as if they were. What is it that you want? What is it that you're saying? How are you moving? Are you moving, dragging your feet, acting like you tired? Get up and do something. It's time. I am your procrastination strategist. You ain't taking action, you need somebody in your life like me, because I can get it all done. I don't live a life of oars, I live a life of ands. I can have kids and a business and a job and, and, and dreams. I can have it all. See, we live this life. Good morning, Sasha, thinking, well, if I have this and I can't have that, you live in a limited life. Your mindset is limited. You say if you're involved in this, I can't be in this, and I can't be in this because I don't you see, you ain't you you haven't, and I, I was telling somebody on on, I was telling somebody on Saturday. I said, see, y'all don't have no opportunity money. Good morning, Miss Valerie. Thank you so much for joining. Y'all don't have no opportunity money. See, sometimes the opportunity will come and slap you right upside the face and you can't do nothing with it because you ain't set nothing to the side. You haven't set anything to the side and every dime you have is spoken for. And when an opportunity comes, you cannot take advantage of it because you have not put anything to the side. You need to have an opportunity fund for so you can act when you need to. Not that you gotta save to get in the part of this. And I, I can't, I, I would, I could, I, I would if I could. Come on now, somebody. Good morning, Lashana. Thank you so much for joining. I would if I had it. If I can have, if I had it. See, you need to be prepared for opportunities because sometimes you have some things that'll come up once in a lifetime. When I was nominated for this reward, and when I was nominated, come on now, check this out. And when I found, when I got wind about, I was nominated for a global. Come on now somebody global leadership award I had about two weeks to plan now I could have said that I didn't have enough time I could have said I had too many kids I could have said that I didn't have the money I could have said I couldn't have a hotel I could have said that there wasn't enough time for me to drink I could have made up every excuse in this whole entire world but when you know and it says you had to be present. Come on now, somebody. When you know, come on now, somebody. Y'all not going to talk to me. I don't care if I, I didn't care if I had to jump hoops. Baby, I was going to jump hoops. A lot of you, you talking about you want a better life and you want your life to change and I want to live the life of my dream. But you ain't doing the actions of your dream. Do you know to live the life of your dream, it requires for you to do something. And you think that you're going to keep, you think that you're going to keep doing what you've been doing with you. Oh, y'all not going to talk to me this morning. You're not going to talk to me. Good morning, Kiara. Thank you so much for joining. You think that you're going to keep on doing what you've been doing and you're going to get a different result. That is the definition of insanity. If you want something different, you're going to have to do something different. And it's going to start with you thinking something different. It says, as a man think it, so is he. You can't jump on an opportunity because you're thinking the way you thought yesterday. Talking to the same people. Good morning, Arlene. Thank you so much for joining. Talking to the same people that you was talking to yesterday. Talking about the same stuff that y'all was talking about in high school. When are you going to do a new thing? When are you going to get around new people? When are you going to start? Come on now, somebody. You're going to have to, you have to take flight. You have to fight the devil like you've lost your mind. You ain't got to fight him. You, I ain't got to, uh, Kiara, that's good. You have to. You have to fight him. You have, I, I agree with you. I agree with you. But uh, you, when you resist him, he'll flee. When you reveal him, he'll flee. When you let him know that he don't have no power. But you can, you right. You fight him. You fight him in word. Not in, when you fight him in prayer, he have to go sit himself down somewhere. Oh, come on. Y'all not going to talk to me today. But see, a lot of you all, we sit back. We say we want a better life, but we're not willing to do nothing different. Oh, y'all not going to talk to me. You say you want a better life and, and you tired of uh, living the way you 
living and you saying that, you know, the rich keep getting richer and the poor keep getting poor. But I'm going to tell you the difference in the rich and the poor. See, the rich, they'll take risk. The poor, the, the poor, they stay in the pit and complain. The rich will take risk. They will risk the little bit that they have to try to get more. The poor will try to hold on to what they have, knowing you holding on to it is not going to multiply. You know the man with the one talent and the two talent and the five, the one with the one headed, the two had four, and the five went to ten. You not going to multiply nothing that you don't put out there. Come on now, somebody. Good morning, Toshiba. Thank you so much for joining. We don't make a sacrifice. We don't say that we need to be around people that are doing what we doing, but we'll sit around people that's complaining that don't believe it's possible you will sit around people telling you what they won't do and we already know what you won't do because you're not doing it you ain't got to listen at what they say you can watch how they live oh y'all not gonna talk to me you wasting time listen to people I ain't gonna do that we already know what you ain't gonna do we see what you're not doing oh I ain't gonna be doing all that we already know that I'm not gonna invest in that we already know that your life speaks for you you don't have to speak you don't have to say what you're not gonna do you don't have to say you don't have to say that you're not gonna do this and you're not gonna do that we already know what you're not gonna do because your actions speaks volume <coughs> excuse me oh y'all not gonna talk to me this morning y'all not gonna talk to me we, we want to sit around making excuses why life is not working for us we want to blame grandma and them grandma and them is some of our grandparents are already long gone who is it that you gonna blame now if you still blaming somebody for your life not being an effective life or the life that you want, it ain't their fault. It's your fault. You got resources. You have access. And you are responsible for you. They did whatever they did or didn't do. But who are you to blame now? I'm getting ready to get out of here. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. But you will only live what's in you. If you got a, if you got a, if you are full of excuses, that's all you're going to do. You always have an excuse for everything. And I know you say, it's not an excuse. I'm just, I got, you know, I, I got it, you know, and we love to holler. We praying about something. But as I told you on yesterday, sometimes God would tell you to move because it's an answer to a prayer that you already prayed. But now you got to pray about the answer prayer. Oh, y'all not going to talk to me. Oh, y'all not going to talk to me. You got to pray about the answer prayer. You've been praying and asking for him to do this and do this and send you this and give you this. And when he said it, now you got to pray about that too. Oh, y'all not going to talk to me. Do you know his voice or not? Do he know you or not? Oh, Sasha, I don't even, uh, uh, Sasha, uh, yeah, that, I don't even know if that's a thing for my, a lot of people. They're not holding themselves accountable to nothing. They need somebody that's going to push them. And some some people need people to prime them. And they don't want it bad enough. Good morning, Camelia. Thank you so much for joining. I look at successful basketball players. I look at like a Kobe Bryant and a Michael Jordan. They was up shooting free throws and three-point shots when everybody else was sleeping. People that want it bad enough, they don't have to have all that pushing and priming. They don't have to take enough. Say praise the Lord. Come on now, somebody. Uh, come on now. Raise your hand. Good morning, Camilla. Thank you so much for joining. Good morning, Prophetess Whitehead. Thank you so much for joining. If you want it bad enough, you will go after it. Oh, yes. In 2020, we got to work together. Let's connect, sister. You, you, If you want it bad enough, don't nobody have to pump and prime you to get what you want. Sometimes you may need some outside help. Sometimes you may need some outside resources. But see, a lot of us, that's why we're not getting nowhere because we want to do this self. I'm do it on my own. No, on your own is what got you where you are. You will only live what's in you. And when we don't do some things to make us, come on, to encourage ourselves, come on, to entice us to do something different, you're going to keep doing what you've been doing. And guess what? You're going to keep getting what you've been getting. See, some of y'all, you're miserable because you ain't doing nothing different. Some of you are stressed out because you're not doing anything different. You're still trying to do everything on your own because you're trying to save a dollar. Sometimes you have to invest. Oh, come on now, somebody. Sometimes, good morning, Apostle. Uh, thank you so much for joining. Sometimes you have to make an investment in yourself. If you keep on thinking that you can do everything, oh, I'm going to do, you're limited. Your resources are limited. Your hands are limited. Your, re your, 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 your reach is limited. You're only going to be able to get to a certain amount of people in a certain amount of time. You're only going to be able to be in one place at one time. Come on now, somebody. You are limited. But when you get connected with people that's doing what you're doing, that's doing what you're doing, it 
get you there quicker. But we don't want to do nothing that would take us to the next level because we want to keep on sitting there complaining about where we are. Good morning, Sydney. Thank you so much for joining. See, a lot of us, we don't want to make an investment in ourselves. Oh, y'all not going to talk to me this morning. The Lord just dropped me, uh, dropped it to me and, uh, to tell you that your passport ready. Oh, Travis, oh, baby, it's ready. It's ready. It's, you know, I got to renew it because actually it expired. I've had it for nine years. Oh, it's ready. Oh, I believe it and I receive it, Camelia, because I'm going. Oh, I'm going. Come on now, somebody. I'm going. Oh, yes, I am going. Ben, and going to keep on going. Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready. This thing going to be full time. Watch what I tell you. God has already told me. Camelia, I'm going to tell you something that he told me. He said that, you know, people say you speak. He, people say you talk a lot and you speak. He said, they say you talk a lot and you talk loud. He said, but daughter, you keep on speaking for me. He said, because your feet will tread on strange land all over the world. This has been like four or five years. Come on now, somebody. Oh, yeah, it's coming. Oh, yeah, it's coming. I, 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 if I was to name every place that I've been just this year alone, you'd be like, what, 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 what? Yes, I've been, you know, since January. Since January, it's been crazy the last 10 months, but it's been a blessing. But I'm going to tell you, you would only go as far as you have what's on the inside. On the inside. On the inside. You would live out what's in you. When he woke me up with that, I said, oh, look at you, God. Look at you, God. You will live out what's in you. What's in you got to come out. What is in you has to come out. What is in you has to come out. So here I am. Here I am. I got to get ready to go, but here I am. Um, tomorrow, we're kicking, off, we're kicking off Empowering 8, number 2. Empowering 8, number 2. If you are looking for a sister circle, good morning, good morning, um, good morning, uh, missionary Joanne. Amen. I support my sisters. Thank you so much. Let's connect, uh, Camilla. Um, if you are looking to join a sister circle, a support system, a driving system, somebody that's going to push you, somebody that's going to be there for you, somebody that's going to encourage you, somebody that's going to help you with your business, with your ministry, with your life, with your health. I'm talking a whole nine yards. You need to be a part of this circle. It is kicking off tomorrow. You heard it. Tomorrow. If you're interested, put interested in the comments. I'll follow up with you or you can send me a DM if, if, if that's what you choose to do. But tomorrow is kicking off. If you want something different in your life, you are going to have to do something different. You cannot keep doing the same thing over and over and over and over. You can't keep doing the same thing over and over and over and over and think it's going to change your life. You cannot keep on hiding behind the screen and, and getting what you want, popping in and popping out. And it ain't taking you nowhere because you don't have a drive to keep on going with it. Come on now, one of the best coaches in the world. The sisterhood is awesome. This coach is incredible. Thank you so much, Camelia. Camelia is one of our empowering eight sisters. And Empowering 8 1. So if you want to be a part of Empowering 8, we are around the world. So don't let your location limit you. Don't let the little small investment limit you because I'm telling you, you get way more of my time. You get way more of my, my wisdom. You get way more than your investment by 10 times a month. I guarantee you, not that, hands down. So if you let a small investment stop you, you don't want nothing anyway. It's just the truth anyway. I'm just telling you the truth. If you let that stop you, you don't want nothing. So look, this is your girl, Coach O, founder and uh, founder and CEO of Action Speaks Volume Incorporated, where I help you to build unshakable confidence, stop procrastinating, and to get your dreams out of your head and to your life. I am your procrastination strategist. If you're ready to take action and stop making excuses, I'm your girl. I am your girl because I'm the one that can get it all done. Hands down. God bless you.